Welcome to BrewTuber, I'm Dan. And I'm Julia. And today we're in Lake Zurich, Illinois, checking out Phase 3 Brewing Company. It's not just a phase, it's a lifestyle. Let's go on it. is P3. This one's a Pilsner. Oh yeah. You get that clean, crisp, obviously like Pilsner finish with it, but then it has this touch of citrus. You get some bread, but it's light bread, like a white bread, right? <laughs> and I just want to be very specific about what type of bread it is. They also list it as having herbal tea, which actually comes near the end. Very unique for a Pilsner. I really like that. This one's the Zwickle Oat Lager. This is a lager. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. A lot smoother than your typical lager, and I think that's because this one's unfiltered. They pulled it straight from their lagering tank, lagering and that's what makes this thing so incredibly mm. smooth. I mean, it, it's not like crispy oh, wow. that you would get with a traditional lager, but you still get all the lovely lager flavors. I'm getting a little bit of a sweeter, bready vibe with this one. It's a nice color, too. It's a beautiful color. I mean, like, look at that. Look that at the glass. graphic, too, and the glassware. This right. is absolutely gorgeous. This one is a winner. Okay, you gotta try this one. This is unconventional color. This one's a hazy double IPA. God, is that citrusy. And it's so delicious. This one has Cascade Simcoe Citra and HBC 586. It's like a it's like a code. But what I do like about this one is it has this very sweet finish. It actually starts off almost very sour, I'm getting at the very beginning, but it's not any it's like lemon sour. It's not like ah my taste buds are on fire. Zesty. You know, it's zesty. Yeah. I like that. And then it finishes sweet. I love this one. This one's called the knot. This is a red ale. Mm. Ooh, delicious. I love that. Definitely more forward with the malty flavor. This one isn't really all that caramely. Not a whole lot of sweetness coming through. There's a nice little kick of bitterness to clean up the palate, but it's really smooth. It's very refreshing. It has a lot of like crispy elements to yeah. it. I know that you you know maybe don't think of that when you think of an Irish red, red. but it's very good. The malt is really the rock star here. Ooh. I gotta say, there's a lot of awesome Irish reds in a Illinois. Lot of Irish reds. And this one's great. It's a little bit different, but I like it. This is four. This is a triple hazy IPA. Made in honor of Phase Three's four-year anniversary. Cheers. Happy birthday, Phase Three. We're just in hazy land here at phase three, and this is, God, there's just so much juice happening. And it's so good. <laughs> Literally, you get, again, sweetness, sweetness, sweetness. Full-bodied, very juicy. Oh my God, that is really good. Ooh. This has El Dorado, Citra, Mosaic, 
and Amarillo. You can really get that nice balance. This is super drinkable, not too heavy. Way to go, Haze 3. That's why we came here, because we were like, these are all the hazies we could ever, <laughs> ever want. And look at that. That is a beautiful, you can't even see it. This one's the Double Dry Hopped Pixel Density. This is a New England Hazy IPA. It's my turn for the hazies. It's ah. always a fight. Oh, wow. This one is surprisingly light, almost like fluffy. It's actually lighter than the two that we drank previously. Mm. And this one's Double Dry Hopped with Citra Hops. But you still really get, I mean, Citra's known for having like mm. orangey flavors, right? Yes. A little bit of that. Pine little yes. undercurrent in there. I was just going to say the pine. But definitely like big on the orange, big like zesty orange peel is kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this one. It's delicious and it's insanely refreshing. Sure. This one leans more in the little citrus light. direction, so more of your classic, typical hazy IPA. And give me that back because I need to drink more. It is a it's piney. A little bit. It's a little piney. That's a piney. It's just a teeny it's a tiny piney. little pine in there. <laughs> I'm the pie. Alexander Hamilton. What's your name, man? <laughs> this is Lull's Crisp Apple. This one's a hard seltzer. Hmm. Oh my gosh. That is like the apple Jolly Rancher liquefied with fizz. God, that is good. Okay, I'm sorry. This is so sweet. And it's so delicious. You get apple all the way, but it's a little bit soury too, which I like because it's almost like a sour apple, green apple, whatever candy you can think of that has green apple in it. That's what crisp is. Lulls, like obviously, like when you come here to phase three, you can get actually like a can pour, which is why we have a big boy glass right here. They have like a nice partnership with Lulls, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. Otherwise, it's Lulz. The internet's gonna keep you honest on that one. I mean, somebody will correct me out there. Oh yeah. But Lulz <laughs> or Lulz or whatever you're called, they're also based out of Lake Zurich too, so there you go. I like that. This one's called Curvature Batch 13. This is an Imperial Stout. And look at how lovely curvy this glass is, <laughs> too. Like it's just glass. like, this is pure elegance here at the brewery. We're in the sweet back room right now, just on a side note. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look, that mural is boss. It is awesome. And there's pinball right behind us. You know this I'm going like to play me some pinball room. after I'm done drinking this. Or while I'm drinking it, too. Let's be real. My God, that is awesome. <laughs> definitely a dessert beer, definitely something on the sweeter side. You are getting big coconut right up front with like dark chocolate. Almost has like an almond joy, but I'm not really an almond joy guy. I think it's a texture thing for me, but I'm telling you, this is absolutely insanely good. It's so good. It's so smooth. Oh my this is more like drinking like a milkshake, like a mm. chocolate coconut milkshake, than it is actually drinking a beer. And that's deceptive because this is a 12% beer. You gotta like pace yourself when you're having this one because it's huge. It's a monster. It's so stinking incredible. They also say it has Ghana and Saigon mm. cinnamon in here. I really don't get a whole ton of that. Truthfully, I get mostly the coconut and the chocolate flavors. I'm not complaining though. I mean, that is like, <laughs> it's just awesome. insanely delicious. Okay. So, phase three has three spaces. They got the front room, which is where the main taps are. They got this back room here, which is where the pinball is. They also have all the barrels, all the vats. You can also see all the cool production stuff happening behind the scenes. They also have a tap up here in the second room. And then they also have a little patio space, which is just fantastic for those summer days. We want to be outside mm -hmm. drinking a nice cold beer. Check out their website for more details on events coming up here at Phase 3, but a note that they do have live music on their patio. I remember when we came here in the summer, it was really enjoyable to sit out there and have a beer. So enjoy patio season while you can, Illinois. And also, shout out to Elmhurst, where they will be opening a second location Pretty soon, actually, in the next like couple weeks, I heard that they're going to be opening their second Phase 3 location in Elmhurst, a block or so away from our friends 
at Elmhurst Brewing Company. Lots of beer opportunities there in Elmhurst, so you can go to their bottle shops that have sprouted up there. You get two major breweries, so please take advantage of it. It is a great town, too. That's all the time we have, Brewtubers. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what's your favorite beer from Phase 3 Brewing Company. Just want to let you know you got to be 21 or older to drink beer in Illinois. As always, be responsible, tip your tenders, drink locally. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Phase 3.